Hey, this is Dana White from the UFC, and you're watching ProMMANow.com. Hey, guys, Daniel Theodore here for ProMMANow.com with the other Daniel, Daniel Strauss. How's it going, sir? Doing good. Doing well. Yeah. Living, loving. Who are you here to uh, support? Uh, I would here to support my man, Roger Boland. Fight, uh, he fights out of Cincinnati Vision MMA. So. I think he won the first round. He came out aggressive if he was landing liver shots, you know. Yeah, I, you know, I didn't agree with the 30-27. I would have gave him the first round. Second round was close, and I think the, took, the takedown on the third round, you know, took the, the third round. But definitely not a 30-27, but that's how the fight game goes. Yeah, yeah, I gave Tarek the second two rounds, but I, I gave Roger the first round for just working harder. Yeah. Um, so uh, you won the Bellator tournament. Yes, sir. Awesome. Congratulations. Thank you keep you. improving. Your striking especially keeps improving. You Thank know, you. you're a great wrestler, big athletic guy. I've been following your career. Um, what, what's going on with the Bellator situation right now? Um, not 100% sure. I know uh, Pat Kern got hurt, broke his orbital socket, um, and he was in line, or he was supposed to be fighting Patricio Pitbull in a couple of days. So, and uh, with him being hurt, it set, uh, you know, the whole fight game back. So we're all just sitting, waiting until he heals up. Um, so, you know, right now I'm just sitting on the sideline waiting. Well, that's kind of bad for you. If he's waiting, you know, P P Patricio Pitbull is waiting for his shot. You're waiting for your shot. Iowa orbitals take quite a while to heal if that is indeed the injury. You know, we've seen that a few times in MMA, Crow Cop and Sakuraba and whatnot. Um, unfortunately, this happens in Bellator. I love the tournament structure. I love earning your title shot. I, I mean, a real fan does appreciate that. They have a kind of a different thing going on. But that's not a good situation. You're a fighter. You need to fight. You need to make some money. So. Yeah, um, you know, uh, with it being the way that it is, uh, you know, it kind of it kind of cuts out the uh, interim title, you know, fights, um, you know, super fights is always a possibility. But with the way that it's set up in the tournaments, you know, you just can't have an interim fight and cut somebody else. As long as your spot's guaranteed to fight for the title, which it absolutely should be. Would you take a fight now with Patricio or someone else, maybe, if it was the right fight and, you know, they're going to promote it? Definitely. I would take a fight at any time. Uh, rather, you know, I'll put anything on the line, you know, a title shot or I'll put, a, you know, a contention on online, anything to fight. You know? You're a fighter. You'll fight anybody. I'll fight anybody, even you again. You'll fight me? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like 225, but, you know, I'm a little out of it. I haven't fought professionally in 10 years. Hey, it's all good. All you need is, a, is one punch. All right, if you're not a punch, you can fight. So you ain't going to make me cut weight or nothing, huh? Not at all. Not at all. He's got it like that, ladies and gentlemen. That's a real fighter. That's a friggin' fighter. You want to be a fighter? We got a fighter in Bellator, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, you, where's the team that you're training with? Um, right now, uh, I train at Cincinnati Vision MMA, and I also train at a uh, American Top Team in Coconut Creek, Florida. And big shout out to those guys and, and back home. At, you know, Both teams has helped me uh, drastically get to where I'm at, and uh, I just keep improving with both teams. So. Uh, it, it's been a blessing. Excellent. Now, your big guy, long wrestling credentials, long background. You want to talk about that a minute? Uh, yeah, I grew up wrestling, started wrestling when I was four. I uh, went to Sycamore High School and wrestled in Cincinnati, Ohio. Ended up being a national champ uh, my, in 03. And uh, I, end, I didn't wrestle in college, uh, which I, you know, I wish I would have. But, you know, I'm here. You're here, and, and, I mean, you must be okay with the cut because you look bigger than a lot of your opponents out there, yet you keep your, your energy and your explosiveness. Yeah, I, um, I keep my weight at a good weight. You know, uh, I walk between uh, anywhere between 65 and 72. And, um, you know, right now I'm, I'm walking about 68, you know, so I, I feel good. I'm always ready to fight, always, you know, keeping a good weight. And, you know, always Jordan Ramney, you got a fighter here. Get this man a fight so I can watch it on MTV2 before you get on Spike, because I ain't waiting that long. So get this guy a fight so I can watch him before he gets the fight for the title belt that this man might take. Hey, give me 12 fights before the title fight. I don't care. Let's get it. We'll line them up. We'll line them up, knock them down. All right. And uh, how are people going to find you on Facebook or Twitter? Uh, find me on Facebook and Twitter uh, and Instagram. Uh, just my name, Daniel Strauss, D-A-N-I-E-L-S-T-R-A-U-S. Uh, hit me up. You know, I'll hit you guys back. Love all the fans. Yeah, guys, and follow me, please, Dan the Wolfman, Dan the Wolfman 1 on YouTube and uh, Twitter. Thank you very much. Go to ProMMANow.com.